Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, a few videos ago, we did this little sort of section reveal from an icon up there. We've got that little blue bar. When I roll over it, it reveals a little section below three little call to actions. We had a great question. Somebody said, can you make this icon a little more urgent looking, perhaps having a flashing color or something like that? Sure we can. So I've created a bit of code here. Oh, we've got a color changing icon on that thing now. Still does exactly the same. Well, that's just something that's going to get people's attention a lot quicker and perhaps make them want to put their mouse on it. Really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today. Don't let that put you off. Any code that I write, I'll put down below as normal. You're welcome to copy it, paste it, use it as you will. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down. I've actually got a code module down here that I've written that CSS in. So code modules don't take up any real estate and you might have trouble getting to them once that you've put them in there. If that's the case, hit the little purple button at the bottom. Go over the left hand side. We'll find this little icon wireframe view. That will take us to back end mode or wireframe view and you can roll down and find any modules you like that way. There's our little code that I wrote today. I'm going to trash that and we'll start from scratch. Once you're happy, and go back to desktop mode. Once back in desktop mode, let's scroll up. There's our little icon right there. Let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got going on here. Let's go down and inspect this. I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays. I'm going to right click, hit inspect. And it's telling us that this is a span with the class of EPB icon. Now, I can't use that class name because it will affect every icon and a lot of them have that class name. But what I can do is give it my own class name and affect the span. So let's do that. Now we know what we're dealing with. I'm going to enable the visual builder. I'm going to go down to my little blurb module with the drop down there. I'm going to go in there, little cog. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab down to CSS ID and classes. This is always where you'll find CSS IDs and classes under the advanced tab. I'm going to get rid of that. That's the old class name that I gave it for when I demonstrated it to you just now. We'll put in a new class name. Let's say color icon. It wants to be unique there. So we've got color icon as the class. That's great. Well, now I'm going to actually add a new little code module and we'll write some more code. So let's go down where we've got a space and I'll add a little code module. Great. Scroll back up so we can see. I'll put this over here and remember this code, if anybody wants it, I'll put down below the video. All right. Well, what did we do? We gave it a class name. Now we're writing CSS in this code module. So we've got to tell it we're writing CSS by opening some style tags. And this is the only thing I can't put down below because of the pointed brackets. So if you're writing in a code module, you need style tags and it's left pointy word style, right pointy. And as soon as you hit return, it'll put the closing in. And the only difference is it's got a forward slash between the style. Now we can actually write the code that we want. If you're putting this code in your additional CSS panel or in the Divi custom CSS panel, you don't need to use style tags there. Okay, well, we gave it that class name. All class names have a dot or a period in front. And it was color icon was the class name that we gave it. And we want to affect the span. Remember when we inspected it, we saw that it was the icon was the actual span there. Great. What do we want it to do? Well, let's open and close some curly brackets there and tell it what we want it to do. I want it to animate. So I'm going to say animation. That animation's got to have a name. So let's call it, I'm just going to call it CC5 for color change five. I've got some other color change animations going on here. I don't want to confuse the issue. That wants to be unique, that name again for the animation. 
I want to take it. I want it to take perhaps five seconds to go through the animation that we'll create in a second. I want it to keep going and going, so I'm going to have it infinite. And I want it to be linear, so those gradually change color at the same rate. Great. Put a semicolon on the end of there. Now we've got to create this little animation that we called CC5. So we'll drop down just below that existing curly bracket there, the closing one. We're using keyframes to build this today. So I'm going to say at keyframes. Then the name, which is CC5. Now we can open and close some more curly brackets and start putting in what we want it to do. Well, I want it to change color. Well, I'm going to use maybe three colors. This is entirely up to you. You could put more or less, however you want. I'm just using red, orange, and yellow. They look fairly urgent to me, but choose whatever colors you want. So when it starts, which would be at 0%, just after the percentage, we'll open some more curly brackets. I want the color to change. So I'm going to say color, colon, I'm just going to put in red, but you can put in any hex color or whatever color you want. As you see, that's actually changed color now. And it's fading from the red I've put in there to the default sort of aqua greeny blue color that was in there. Well, at least we know it's working. That's good. Now I'm going to copy this maybe another three times. So we've got four of them. I'm just selecting it. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down one, two, three. And we've got to divide that by 100. So we've got sort of 0, 33, 66%, and then 100%. Nobody's going to notice that extra 1%, I'm sure. So at 33%, let's say orange. Like I say, you can choose whatever colors you want. It's great. At 66%, let's perhaps have a yellow. And just to make it all smooth, I'm going to end up at 100% on that red again. So I'm going to just change that to 100% and have it go to red. And as you can see, it's running through those red, orange, yellow, back to red again. Red, orange, yellow, back to red again. And if you want to speed it up, put a smaller number in there. And that's pulsing quite well. I won't speed it up any more than that because it might give people some problems. So if you want to slow it down and put a bigger number in there. And it's just going to gradually change like that. I'm happy with it to be about five seconds though. And that's all there is to it. And don't forget, I'll put all this code right here just below the video. Anybody who wants to copy and paste it, you're welcome to. I can't put these style tags there though. So if you're using a code module, remember to put those style tags in. You can also put this in your custom CSS panel, which is down to the dashboard, appearance, customize, and you'll find it at the bottom there. Or you can go down to dashboard, Divi. Under the general tab, it's right at the bottom there too, but it all ends up pretty much in the same place. Okay, well, let's save this, make sure it's gonna work on the front end. I'm gonna hit the button. I'm gonna go down and save the changes and exit the visual builder. And there it is. As you can see, we've got that color changing icon now on that little bar. And of course, when we hover over the bar, it's going to reveal that other content that we did the other day. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a color changing icon, make it sort of urgent looking using a bit of CSS code. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.